And welcome to part four of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. We're still trekking through Mystic Cave Act 1. Uh, the Mystic Cave is kind of dangerous. There's lots of spikes all over the place. There's lots of uh, contraptions that you need to pull open. Like, there are switches all over the place being covered in vines. It's hard to notice, but uh, you should be able to notice them. They're like vines with like a blue line going through it. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a bone or something, but uh, basically you pull open all these, con these doors and stuff just to get past the levels. Uh, there's lots of spikes that just come out of the wall. Those are the most annoying obstacles in every Sonic game. You just be running along and then BOOP! Spikes! Out of nowhere! Thanks, Eggman! Thanks, you dick! <laughs> also, a lot of people complained uh, about Mystic Cave Zone because there's a special spot that I don't show off where there's a spike pit and there's no way out of that spike pit. As soon as you land in it, you're pretty much dead, even though you have to wait till it hits you like three times until you're, you know, hit without a ring. And you know, people complain about that, like, that's bad stage design! No, it's not. You weren't supposed to fall in the hole. <laughs> it's not bad stage design at all. Damn you! You have to be quick with this section, obviously. If the crates crush you, it's an instant kill. Mega Man has his spikes that kill him in one hit. Sonic has getting crushed. Anything crushes him, even if he's Super Sonic, he dies. There's nothing he can do about it. Going to the right would lead to the spike pit. I always go to the left. It's always the safer path for me. And for some reason, that switch always makes you fall when you try to jump off. I have no clue why. Every other switch, you can just jump off. But like that one, you just drop off. It's weird. And it's not like it's, the, it's this particular version of the game. Every version I've ever played of Sonic 2, whether it be on Xbox Live, or the Mega Collection, or what, you know, that Switch is always like that. By the way, that's one thing I love about Sonic 2. You can find this game anywhere now, so if you haven't played this game, there is no excuse. The Sonic, uh, Sonic 2 has been released in so many different compilations. You can get it for the 360 slash PS3, whether it be on Xbox Live Arcade, or in the, the Genesis Mega Collection, or Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, or whatever. Which is which should have been called Sega Genesis the Game, honestly. <laughs> Any Sega Genesis game that you think is awesome and exclusive to Sega Genesis, it's on the fucking game. It may as well have been called Sega Genesis the Game. But, uh, you know. You can play it on Mega Collection for PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox. Uh, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to find Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and if you haven't found it, fucking get it. Fucking buy it, because it's the best game I've ever played in my life, and I love it. <laughs> I probably have, like, six versions of Sonic 2 in my house. No lie. Whether it be a Mega Collection, an Xbox Live version, you know, I have so many different versions of Sonic 2 just available to play. And there's no reason. The only reason I got it on Xbox Live Arcade is because I'm an achievement whore. But, uh, <laughs> you know. Cool! Well, folks, this is the last run, and in the last run, the rings just go flurry all over the place at random. And the bombs still pop up every now and then. You don't want to run into them, because, you know, we're at the end. No! See, that's the one instance where getting hit twice doesn't matter, because the last zone actually gives you quite a good amount of rings. It gives you quite a decent amount. Come on, Sonic, we're at the end! Get the final Chaos Emerald! You can do it! Yeah! Sonic has all the Chaos Emeralds, folks. And unlike Sonic 1, you actually get a bonus for doing so. Now Sonic can change into Super Sonic. Super Sonic will be showing off in Oil Ocean, but uh, until then... Let's meet up with Eggman one more time without rings, why don't we? Eggman is drilling through the ceiling with his drills, and there are spikes falling as well as boulders. The spikes will damage you, so watch out for those. 
if he touches drills in it anyway, they will damage you, so... He, he comes down with his drills facing upwards, he tries to move towards you with the drills moving sideways, and then when he goes back up into the ceiling with the drills moving upwards again, so you gotta watch out and make sure the drills don't hit you. But, uh, you know, still fairly easy because, let's face it, Eggman is not a, a challenging boss as long as you have rings. It's, it's pretty good. I shouldn't even bother giving strategies. I'm not gonna lie, Eggman's easy in this game. Still my favorite game ever. I don't care. It's too fun. I don't care. <laughs> ah, and now we're at Oil Ocean. You gotta wonder why Eggman built this place. Assuming Eggman built this place, because from here on out, it's all Eggman's fortress and final levels of the game. We're pretty close to the end of the game, folks. This is the last two-act zone in the whole game. The next uh, level is a three-act zone, so, you know. I'm not sure if Eggman built this oil plant thing, but there's oil all over the place. It pretty much takes up the ocean, hence the name Oil Ocean. And Booyah! <laughs> when you have 50 rings and you jump, Sonic just instantly transform into, transforms into Super Sonic, who gets a nice golden color who is invincible from attacks, nothing hurts Super Sonic at all, except for getting crushed, or drowning. But uh, if you're underwater, chances are you'll get out of it quick enough being Super Sonic. And getting crushed, well that's just that one random thing, because so Super Sonic moves way too fucking fast. I'll admit it, Super Sonic moves way too fucking fast. And because Sonic 2 wasn't really designed that well for Super Sonic, you're gonna find I run into a lot of glitches with Super Sonic, I'm not kidding. In the last three acts I use him, I ran into, like, so many glitches. <laughs> Great for my LP, but, you know. Yeah, Super Sonic's just way too fast. He's just... He's like, imagine the speed shoes times two, and he's invincible, and he jumps twice as high, and, um... The one thing I don't like about being Super Sonic... I mean, granted, the Super Sonic theme is kick-ass, but it gets rid of all the music, you know? Like, I don't want to hear the supersonic theme. I want to hear Oil Ocean. And goddammit, my favorite uh, theme in the whole game is coming up in the next zone, and if, when I turn into supersonic there, I'm like, fuck, I want to listen to my favorite theme in the game. Don't do that, supersonic. In Sonic the Hedgehog 3, you actually get the ability to choose to become supersonic at will. Whereas, in this game, if you have 50 rings, even the tiniest hop will make you supersonic, and there's not much you can do about it. In Sonic 3, you have to double-tap the button to become supersonic, and I like that better because, you know, sometimes you just don't want to be supersonic. I know, I know, call me crazy, call me crazy, but sometimes you just don't want to be invincible and super-powered and golden, you know? You want to do it the fair way. Sometimes. And no, I'm not moving where those turrets shoot me. That's all completely automated. Damn, I love this music. I love every song on this game! Sonic 2 is the greatest thing ever! I love it! Ah! <laughs> uh, I guess you're wondering, what happens to Tails if he gets all the Chaos Emeralds? Nothing. I'm sorry, I kid you not, nothing changes with Tails. He doesn't become Super Tails. He, uh, doesn't get a different ending. Getting the Chaos Emeralds is really just bragging rights if you're Tails. If you're Sonic, he becomes Super Sonic, but if you're Tails, nothing happens. A lot of Tails fans are probably pissed about that. Even in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, getting the 7 Chaos Emerald doesn't do anything for Tails. And before you say something like, there are Super Tails in the game, yeah, I know. I said the Chaos Emeralds. I didn't say the hyper version of the Emeralds, but now I'm just getting ahead of myself. The point is, Tails doesn't have a super form. I don't know why. Maybe he just doesn't believe enough. <laughs> you gotta want it, Tails. You gotta want to become super. Grow a pear. Damn it, I'm singing. <laughs> Oh, what can I say? I love this game. There's not one zone in this game I don't find fun to play. There's not one song in this game I don't like listening to. It's the perfect game for me. It's just the perfect game. I love this game. 
Anyway, folks, we're at Eggman yet again. He's fairly, fairly easy. He pops out of the oil ocean to smile and say hi. <laughs> you just keep jumping on him. Then he shoots a spear thing at you, very easy to dodge. And then he has a laser that will shoot in three different directions. And not necessarily in the same order every time, but he will shoot in all three directions. That much is clear. He'll shoot high, slightly high, and then along the ground. He doesn't do it in the exact same order every time, so keep an eye out for that. And I would think the whole place would erupt, considering he was swimming in oil, and he just fucking exploded. <laughs> that should be a nuclear bomb. West Side Island just blew the fuck up. Anyway, folks, we're heading to the final three-act zone, and... Well, we're just heading to the near-end game. See you in part five.